Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is another makeup testing video. You guys really liked my Charlotte Tilbury one that I posted a few weeks ago. Even Charlotte Tilbury commented on that video. And that is my claim to fame. Today we are testing out the new Born This Way palette by Too Faced. This is the eyeshadow palette, it's the natural nudes palette, and I also have some of the highlighter palettes as well. As a disclaimer, these did arrive to me in a humongous PR package, so they were gifted to me, but I have not been paid to make this video. Not that it matters if I was or if I wasn't, because I'd be honest anyway. So let's give these products a try. So first up, we have these, which are the Turn Up the Light highlighter palettes. They come in light, medium, tan, deep. So there's quite a lot of different variations there. I would probably be light, I imagine, because I have got very light skin. I do have a Too Faced mascara that I'll be using in this video as well. But my base is already done, my eyebrows are done, that's done. But I haven't powdered, so. These Turn Up The Light highlighter palettes are really, really interesting. I really like the packaging. It feels really sturdy and nice. It is very kind of fancy. Too Faced are fancy. And I really like how this looks and how it feels. It also has a massive mirror in it, which would be great for traveling. Inside these palettes, we have a glow shade, which to me looks like a soft highlight. We have a soft focus, which I think is more of a powder with a bit of a glow to it. And then we have Dazzle, which is a highlight that looks very, very glittery and maybe something more for the evening. Now I'm going to use this brush, which seems a bit mad because it's huge. Just gonna dab that in like so. And then I'm just gonna literally swipe this everywhere. Now I do like to have a very powdered face after a foundation. I don't like to have like sticky foundation. So I'm interested to see if this will stop all my foundation creasing, like around my eyes especially. So this powder has definitely given me a bit of a glow. I wouldn't say it's like a highlight powder, which is good because I would hate to have a really over the top glowy face. But I feel like even though it's powder, it's not like completely mattified my skin, even though it's obviously set in everything. I'm just using a smaller brush here, just on my eyes, just to really powder there because I don't want to get any creased in at all. It does give a bit of a shine to your skin, but not too much, which is nice. It looks really healthy, which is good. That's what we're going for. We want to look healthy. So I'm going to use the highlight, but first I feel like I need to just bronze up my skin a bit. Obviously I've got new blonde hair now, so I feel like I need a lot more bronzer. I'm just going to literally bronze my face with this Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Blush Glow. This is in the pinky shade. I don't think it's got a shade. It's very, very old now. I don't actually own any Too Faced bronzers, so I couldn't use Too Faced for this. This brush is actually amazing for bronzer. It's a Zoeva All Night Long Brush 109 Lux Face Paint, and it's kind of like a rectangle shape, and it's really good for kind of getting in all the areas that you want to kind of contour and bronze at the same time, because that's what I do with my bronzer really, I'm kind of contouring it as well. Bit of colour on the old cheeks. And then I'm just going to pop on some blush as well. This is Bare Minerals Pink Me Up, it's the powder blush. I really like this colour because it's kind of like a bit of an orangey peachy pink, which I really like. And I'm just going to tap this on, I've got a Sigma Small Contour F05, which I like using for blush because it's really small. Just going to pop that on the apples of my cheeks. <laughs> like so. Not too much, just enough to add a little bit of colour. Already I look a bit more healthy, which is good. <laughs> so I'm going to go in with the glow colour first, or the glow highlight first. I, this has, it does seem quite, oh, it's quite glittery and a lot is coming out when I press it on the pan, like it's getting a little bit messy in there. But I guess highlight is quite a soft product, so it will. I can see it flying around in the air, like so. Just gonna pop this on my cheekbone. That's pretty. You can really see that on the camera as well. It's actually a lot more pigmented than I thought it was gonna be. And then I'm gonna do some over my eyelid as well, why not? Can you guys see that? That is pretty. End of my nose. Oh my gosh, 
gosh, I put way too much on the end of my nose there. <laughs> no glitter is on my face. It's just a really kind of soft, neutral highlight there. So on this cheek, maybe I'll add the dazzle one. So I'm gonna go in with the dazzle one. Now this to me looks like it might be more glittery, but we'll see. So dazzle, show me what she's gonna do. has got a little bit more kind of particles of glitter in it but I don't feel like they're gonna be stuck all over my face I feel like actually they're flying around a little bit more I have to say I think I prefer the glow one I feel like it's more of like a sheen whereas this does look a little bit kind of more glittery a bit more glam but for an evening look the dazzle would look really really good so first impressions on this palette I like it I feel like the soft focus powder would be amazing just for a really kind of quick dewy glow I think that's something I could even wear when I don't have much makeup on like if I've got a CC cream on and I want to set it but I don't want to lose that glow and mattify it completely that's something that I would use but I do feel like if you're not someone that goes out in the evening or you don't do like full-on makeup looks this could have been a bronzer that would have been amazing or a blush because obviously I needed a bit of bronzer on first and blush, I would have really liked to have been able to just pick up this and be like, right, I've got my powder, I've got my bronzer, or I've got my blush, and then I've got my highlight all in one palette. I feel like that would have been quite nice. Okay, so these are actually £34 to buy. I mean, Too Faced are a higher end kind of makeup brand, I guess. £34 seems a little bit steep, but then actually when you break it down what you're getting, that's basically £10 per product. So then we have this, which is the Born This Way, the Natural Nudes Palette. And I was so excited when I saw this. I love a nude eyeshadow and this palette is full of them. I actually already have a few Too Faced palettes. I have the Chocolate Bar palette which is this one, and I also have the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. As you can see, hopefully you can see that, both of them have been very, very used, and both of them have a very strong scents, which, to be honest, is kind of what puts me off of them a little bit, but I'm so excited that this one is not scented at all. So I have my brushes and first off I'm going to go in with Coco which is this shade. It's kind of like a light browny pink colour and I have seen a review already that said these actually come out darker on your eyes than they do in the palette so we will see. So I'm just going to literally put this in the outer corners and kind of on my crease as well. I've just got a fluffy brush here. This is a Zoeva 227 brush. Let me know if when I'm doing these makeup looks, if you do want to know what brushes I'm using as well, because I don't know whether that's actually like, do you want to know that? I don't know. But yeah, so anyway. <laughs> okay, so first up, first impressions, very pigmented and... I mean, yeah, I guess that does come out darker on my eyes. I would say that's actually come out a little bit more orangey toned than I thought it was going to. That is actually a really nice shade. And I would actually, if I wasn't doing a video, I would probably just leave that as it was and just go about my day because that's a really nice kind of brown shade. I like how that looks in my crease. So then I'm gonna go in the crease again, but I'm gonna go in with Truffle, which is the darkest shade in the palette. It's kind of like a dark brown. This palette hasn't got a black in, but I actually like the fact that it hasn't got a black in because I feel like every palette we own has a black shade in. Really, you don't need a black. This is very, very pigmented on my brush. Just gonna tap it off and I'm just gonna kind of, oh my gosh, that is so pigmented. I didn't expect that. I'm gonna put a little bit on this eye because I feel like I've got too much on my brush for one eye there. I mean, we're gonna do a dark smoky look anyway, so let's just go for it. I'm just blending that in to my crease. So I've kind of just taken that all over my lid now, to be honest, but I really like how that looks. I might just, um, just blend that with my foundation brush a little bit, just because I feel like I've gone a bit crazy there. I'm gonna put truffle. <gasps> Can you guys see that? <laughs> that is so pigmented. Oh, so, so I'm actually gonna grab one of these shades. Maybe I'll go with Sugared Chestnut, which is a glittery brown shade. And I'm gonna put that in the middle of the eye look, just to kind of give it a bit of a shimmer, because at the moment it's quite matte. 
gonna pop this in the middle. Please don't be too glittery. Oh, that's nice. I like that so much. That's really, really pretty. Oh gosh, that would be really nice just on its own as well. Kind of giving the whole look a bit more of a, like a metallic shine to it, which I like. Again, we've got loads of fallout in the pan. Doesn't bother me, but just thought I'd mention it in case it bothers you. Anyway, for the sake of this video though, I am gonna add a bit of golden light, which is this shimmery gold color. I'll use a different brush for that. Oh yes, that is pretty. Look at that. Oh my gosh, okay, I really like that. I'm just gonna pop that in the middle just to lighten up the look a little bit and give it a bit of a dimension. Is that the right word? I'm gonna give my eyeshadow some dimension. That is pretty, guys. That's made this look look really pro, which I'm really impressed with. <laughs> I'm just gonna literally darken this up a little bit because I feel like we could be a bit more daring than this. So just pop in that brown shade in the crease a little bit more in the outer corner. So this palette is 35 pound, which now that I've used it, I feel like actually is a reasonable price because you're getting loads of colors in here that are all wearable shades. I hate spending money on a palette that I get about four or five shades that I'm never gonna even touch. Whereas this, I actually feel like even the pinks are neutral and I would wear those. So I feel like actually the pinks are really, really pretty. Like a really nice rose gold look would be really cute. So I'm gonna curl my lashes because I have a Too Faced mascara that I'm gonna pop on. So mascara wise, I actually love Too Faced mascaras. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I have said it before, I will say it again. I hate the name but I love the mascara. And I'm just gonna pop this on. I haven't actually used this in a while, this mascara, and as soon as I put it on, I just wonder why I haven't used it sooner because it's so damn good. It just really thickens my lashes and lengthens them as well. So hopefully you can see the difference with that mascara. I feel like that mascara just really creates such a dramatic lash look. And it almost looks like you've got false lashes on. So this mascara is 22 pound, a little bit more steep than maybe your high street mascaras, but like I mentioned, it's really, really good. And one that I go back to time and time again, like I mentioned, as soon as I forget about it for a little while and then I use it again, I'm like, why do I ever stop using this mascara? I have no idea because now I will be using it again for the foreseeable future. <laughs> I've got my Bobbi Brown liquid um, crushed oil glosses. So let's see. Yeah, I feel like that gives a little bit of a better look. It's quite an interesting shade. This lipstick, it's kind of a bit orangey. Not sure if I like it, but we'll go with it. This is the shade, oh no. Hot cocoa. Um, I like it. I feel like because my top though, it looks very, very orangey, but we'll go with it. So guys, that is the finished look using the new Too Faced Born This Way products. Overall, I feel like these products are really, really good. I feel like they are worth the money. I really liked this. It would be nice if maybe it had a bronzer or a blush here instead of the super sparkly highlight. But again, that's personal preference because maybe that is something that I wouldn't use, but one of you guys would really, really love a really over the top highlight. So then we had the Too Faced Born This Way the Natural Nudes palette. Again, worth the money completely. I absolutely love this. I feel like the shades are so, so wearable. I would wear every single color in here. Like a lot of people have said about this palette, it is quite bridal, which I love. I feel like if you're getting married or you're going to a wedding or you're a makeup artist, these colors especially would be amazing for really soft bridal looks. I feel like this palette is great. I really hope you enjoyed this testing video. If there is any brands that you are interested in seeing more of, you want me to test some makeup from them, any kind of viral brands and viral products that you are really interested in, like I know a lot of people wanna see the Morphe palette and things like that, then let me know. And if you want to see me try some brighter, crazy eyeshadow colors, then let me know. And that's something that I'm very glad 
be happy to do on my YouTube channel, but I will not be leaving the house afterwards. <laughs> As always guys, thank you so much for tuning in. It means so, so much that you support my channel. If you do want to subscribe, then hit that button so you can stay up to date with me. I will see you again in a few days time for another video. Have a lovely day, a lovely evening, wherever you are in the world, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching guys.